The indictment against Trump also mentions six unindicted co-conspirators. CBS News has learned that Rudy Giuliani is likely one of them. It's not clear whether he could also face charges here. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with that part of the story. Dick. Maurice and Christine, the six co-conspirators are mentioned in the indictment, but not by name. Nonetheless, the document left clues, and some may soon have explaining to do. This is a very sad day for America. Donald Trump was playing the victim today, insisting the special counsel had singled him out. But the indictment also highlights six alleged unindicted co-conspirators. CBS News has learned that it's believed that one of them, co-conspirator number one, is Rudy Giuliani. The document describes an attorney who was willing to spread knowingly false claims and pursue strategies that the defendant's 2020 re-election campaign attorneys would not. What's suggested by the in the indictment is that he crossed the line into telling intentional falsehoods. But because Giuliani and the others are not indicted in this case, that doesn't mean they won't be down the road. All of the uh, unindicted co-conspirators uh, face a su substantial risk of prosecution uh, after the, the trial of uh, Donald Trump is concluded. It's possible special counsel Jack Smith is trying to encourage cooperation. I know Rudy Giuliani has met with them and he's provided them with information and documents. But what about flipping against Trump? Former Trump attorney Tim Parlatori says it's not clear anyone can talk about Trump's intent. And I don't know that any of these witnesses are going to be able uh, to turn around and say, oh, yes, Donald Trump knew that there wasn't fraud. He knew that he had lost legitimately. The indictment said Trump turned to co-conspirator number one, again believed to be Giuliani, to spearhead his efforts to challenge election results and says the co-conspirators used deceit to impair, obstruct, and defeat the federal government function. Rudy Giuliani is one of the three key players in getting the fake elector scheme to be going, and that's going to be the key to the entire case. But constitutional law attorney Andrew Lieb says Giuliani may have a different game in mind. I look at it like a game of Jenga. Instead of trying to defend, what they're trying to do is get political points so then Trump could be elected, so then Trump could pardon whoever he wants, as opposed to defending the actual case. Of course, a presidential pardon would only apply in federal cases, not state ones, meaning a federal pardon would not work in the case in New York or if one develops in the state of Georgia. Maurice. Okay, Dick, thank you. And we have continuing coverage on our website. You can read the full indictment at CBSNewYork.com.